Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. Today we're gonna to take our yoga practice up against the wall. So find a little bit of space in your home where you can use the wall. Also grab a towel or small cushion that you can use for your knees. And just remember to please, please, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's get started. So we're gonna to begin today by bringing our legs up the wall. So scooch nice and close, swing your legs up. If you've never done this before, it might be a little awkward and weird, but just try a few times till you get those legs up the wall. You can shimmy your, your hips a little closer if you can, but ultimately we just wanna bring our feet up and take all of the weight out of our lower body. You can rest your arms wherever's comfy, maybe above your head, on your tummy, by your sides. And let's just close our eyes. And start to feel your breath. Letting go of your day or your week. And giving our feet and our legs a nice big break from holding us up all day. You can stay here with your legs together or you can let your feet fall out nice and wide. And taking a few more moments here to relax. If you did, bring your legs out nice and wide. Let's just start to bring them back together. Hmm. Maybe give them a little wiggle, a little shake. And move into our hips and into our glutes. So you're gonna take your left foot and either rest it on top of your shin, thinking about bringing the knee towards the wall, opening up a little bit, or you can bring your foot to the quad. You can let the right foot slide down the wall. Still, again, thinking about lifting that knee towards the wall, likes to kind of fall towards the floor. So you can stay here, or if you want something new, we're gonna do a reclined cow face. So if you're familiar with cow face, Great. If not, I'm going to try and talk you through it the best I know how. So that right leg, the one that's up the wall, it's actually going to start to slide down the wall towards the left. We're trying to bring our thighs together. So you can think about bringing the knees towards each other, squeezing the thighs together, and maybe your feet are going to stay on the wall. You can slide the feet down the wall. You can kind of play with this one to feel something. You might be getting a good glute stretch for that left glute, glute right now or stretching the hips, something somewhere. You might want a little bit more 
and actually grab the feet. Just bringing the feet a little bit closer towards you. So just play with it, find where you wanna be, take a few breaths. We wanna stretch the glute, so try to find the glute. Getting a little weird maybe. Nice job, you guys. Okay, so let that go. We're gonna switch sides, so just let the legs come back the wall, back up the wall, uncross them, shake it out if you need to shake it out, and let's switch. So remembering your options, the shin, the knee coming back towards the wall, the quad, the knee coming back towards the wall. You can simply just slide that left foot down, stay here if you're getting a good stretch, or try to do that cow face, squeezing the thighs together, stacking those knees, kissing those knees together, maybe sliding the feet down the wall. You might feel stretch maybe if you push the knees towards the wall, but maybe you need to bring them also closer towards your chest. I don't know. We're all different. Nicely done, you guys. Let's start to unwind the legs, send them back up the wall, give them a little shake, a little wiggle. And then we're gonna come off of the wall. So we're gonna roll to one side, the side of your choice. Roll, let those legs fall down. We're gonna come all the way up onto our knees. We're gonna grab our towel or your cushion and you're gonna put it up against the wall. So if you've done this one with me before, you know where you're going, but we're getting into our quad. So you can bring that cushion towards the wall. You're gonna bring the left knee, let's start on that left side, right on top of that cushion and send your toes up towards the ceiling so the shin's nice and close to the wall. And you might be like, ah, this is as far as I'm going. You can stay here, but if you want more, just think about bringing the hips back towards the wall. And to help you do that, maybe you need to bring your right foot to the floor and into a lunge. You might even wanna lift the chest, but remember that this one can be quite, quite intense. So just go as far as you need to, to feel something through that left leg. You can be getting this in a whole lot of places, all the way from the toes up to that hip, maybe even to that left shoulder. work you guys so just another breath or two on this side and then you can slowly start to make your way out of this away from the wall and we're actually going to come all the way up to standing so we'll take a break just before we go to the other side come up to standing butt is gonna come to the wall, so you can bring your feet towards the wall, not all the way towards the wall because we're gonna fold forward, I don't want you to fall forwards. So butt to the wall, hands to the hips maybe, take an inhale to stand tall, and then as you exhale, we're gonna tip forward, kinda of hinging at those hips. So if you feel like you're too close to the wall, move your feet forwards away from that wall. Ooh, find that nice hamstring stretch. You can fold as far as you wanna fold, but just think about letting the, the butt, the hips push into the wall to completely support you and let your head be nice and heavy. Your arms dangle.
Nice work, you guys. Just another few moments here. If you want to try and bring the feet a little closer, you can. Maybe you're perfect where you are. Just fold. Taking all that pressure out of your low back, out of your spine, the back of your neck. Mm, nice job, you guys. So slowly, slowly, let's start to come back up. We're going to move into that right quad now. So you can come back down onto your knees. Setting up that cushion nice and close to the wall, wherever you had it for that left side. And you can start to bring your shin against the wall, toes pointing up towards the ceiling and going as far as you'd like. Hips going back, maybe into the lunge, maybe lifting up. But don't be afraid to keep your hands down on the floor. I've been doing this one for a lot of years. <laughs> so I have to lift up to get that good stretch. But if you're new to this, you, you might not be lifting your chest. You might not even be sending your hips back towards the wall very much. Hmm. Maybe finding that little curve of the lips to keep your jaw soft. Awesome work, you guys. So we're going to come out of this one and we're going to come back up to standing one more time. So just move nice and slow. Nice and slow. Being gentle with the body. Ah, those quads. So good. So good. Finding your way back up to standing. So we're going to get into our upper body, our shoulders with our puppy dog against the wall. So you could do this one on your knees as well. But since we're already standing, let's just bring our hands to the wall and get that added hamstring stretch. So you're going to start to let your chest and your head fall down the wall. So you can find, find that sweet spot of the distance that your feet are from the wall that allows you to let the chest fall and allows you to stick your butt out and maybe find some length through the legs to get into those hamstrings. But let's think more about that upper body. Just let the head be heavy. Mm. Awesome work, you guys. Using an inhale, start to lift yourself back up. Take a shoulder roll, shake it out if you need to shake it out. We're coming all the way back down onto our knees. Okay, so we're gonna do frog pose against the wall. So if you are on a nice hard surface, you're gonna roll your mat over a few times to get some cushion for your knees, unless you've got two towels that you can place under your knees. So we wanna be close to the wall so our feet are going to be against the wall, the bottoms of the feet, and our knees are coming out nice and wide, as wide as you can get your knees to come out. We're getting into our inner thighs, into our hips a lot, a lot with this one. So this lovely wall behind us is helping us with our frog because as we send the hips back towards the wall, our feet can't move, our legs can't really shift, it should just deepen that stretch that you're getting through the hips. So play with it. Our feet are out wide, frog legs. If you want to think about a rule of thumb, maybe the feet are as wide as your knees. So we're not in child's pose. The feet are not together. You can come onto your forearms. You can rest your chest. But just think about relaxing and breathing. 
a whole lot of love into those hips. Nice work, you guys. Just a few more moments here. A nice, intense, intense stretch. So find the breath. Nice job, you guys. If anybody is stuck in this position, <laughs> I apologize. However, you can best gracefully start to move and start to get out of this. You can do that now. Ooh, hoo, hoo. so good. So good. Always moving. <laughs> Nice and slow, nice and slow. If you rolled your mat over, just bring it back. We're going to be bringing our legs up the wall. <sighs> so ending kind of like we started. However you want to bring those legs up the wall. And then before you get too, too comfy, so our legs are up the wall. You definitely have the option to stay here, but I want to try a shoulder stand with the wall. So we're just going to take our feet and they're going to push into the wall. Might be the heels, might be the whole foot to lift the hips. So let's bring our hands to the floor, maybe even to the low back and see how high you can lift the hips. You can tuck the shoulders under a little bit more if you're familiar with shoulder stand. And we're trying to bring the collarbone towards the chin. So if you're flat footed on the wall, you might want to find the ball or even the just the big toe to bring the hips a little higher, a little more over top of those shoulders. And just feel, what does this feel like? Awesome, you guys, if you lifted those hips for our shoulder stand variation, gently, gently bring them back down. Ah, untuck those shoulders. Take the legs of the wall, give them a little shake if you need to. If you need to turn your chin from shoulder to shoulder to loosen the neck a little bit, go for it. And then we're gonna take our twist. So before you start to let the legs fall to the left, I want you to scooch those hips to the right, reach your arms out wide to weigh down the shoulders, and then you can start to walk the legs down. I'm gonna bend my knees today. Bend my knees. Oftentimes the knees like to fall and the feet like to stay up, but see if you can bring the feet down as well. Walk them down. Walk them all the way to the floor if you can. Shoulders are staying put, hips are stacking. A nice tight twist, tight little ball. Feels so good through the back. The right side of the body maybe. Mm. 
Awesome, you guys. So let's come out of this. Oh, use an inhale, walk your feet, your legs all the way back up. Take the hips, scooch them to the left, and then walk the feet all the way back down. All the way down. Getting that nice twist. When you're ready, with an inhale, start to send the legs back up the wall. You can straighten the legs. <sighs> Just take a moment here. Place your right hand on your belly button and your left hand on your heart. Take a nice big breath in and out. Awesome job today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed the, the wall yoga practice. I sure did. <laughs> but have a great rest of your day. And until we meet again, namaste.